Hello there, it's Jennifer McCreeth. Second video of the day, Saturday, January 14th, 2012. Um, I want to talk a little bit about Richard Floyd, a politician in Chattanooga, Tennessee, who has introduced another infamous bathroom bill. Um, backing up in the state of Tennessee, um, it is not legally possible for trans people to have their sex legally changed on their birth certificates, so even those who are completely post-op, such as myself, would not be allowed to be recognized not only in their um, gender, but in their sex. Basically what Mr. Floyd wants to do is uh, require uh, public accommodation use, such as uh, public washrooms and change rooms, uh, that it be that assignment to such is based on legally recognized birth sex. Um, this individual is obviously fearful and phobic. He thinks the trans women are predators, which uh, we are not actually. If you do your research, uh, the most likely entity to be a sexual offender are uh, heterosexual cis men. Um, Floyd, just so you understand what you're doing, you're going to take someone like Chaz Bono, for example, someone who was born female, who has transitioned to male. Um, if you haven't seen Chaz lately, take a look. He's looking mighty fine. Um, testosterone works wonders on trans men. A lot better than estrogen works on trans women. In a matter of, what, one year, Chaz has uh, grown a beard, gotten very muscular, has a deep voice. And within the next little while, Chaz is going to have bottom surgery, so he will have a nice, beautiful, lovely, hard, erect penis. And Mr. Floyd, what you want to do is take Chaz and other people, such as Chaz, very passable as men, and you're going to legally obligate them to go into female bathrooms. I'm sure Chaz would be uncomfortable going into a female bathroom, as would many trans men. Likewise, I'm sure many of your patrons in said bathrooms would be shocked to see people who are men on the outside, and perhaps on the inside as well, coming into a female bathroom. But that's exactly what you're proposing. just shows you how stupid your bill is. Um, I get the, uh, the concept of shock, and you don't want to be scaring people. Um, Usually when people go to the bathroom, they want to go to the bathroom. They go in, they close the door in the stall, they pull down their pants and they take a pee and a poop. They get out there, they wash their hands and leave. It can be shocking to see someone in a bathroom that you don't expect. Um, funny, I just did a video about uh, the issue of passability and how it's, I guess, contentious. But uh, sure, my voice might give myself away, but uh, now that I've got my, my wig and my, my beautiful makeup on, Let's take a look at that, uh, the eye work. I go into female bathrooms, and I keep my mouth shut. I go in and do my business. Nobody's ever given me a hard time at all. Um, just as an experiment, I decided not so long ago to go into a men's room just to see what would happen. And the men were quite surprised. They, they're like, what's this woman doing in here? Goes to show you. Um, I've been using female bathrooms for four years. I've had a vagina and a clitoris for one year. Not that that makes much of a difference. Uh, I have not harassed or hurt anybody. Um, so you might want to reconsider your, your bill and what this bill is really going to do and why your bill is even on the table. Your own senators have shut the concept down. So, Secondly, I noticed you made a comment that you wanted to stomp a mud hole in trans people. Um, let me remind you that you're you're basically an old man. You're, I believe, 67 years old. You're kind of, based on what I've seen in pictures, you look kind of, kind of out of shape. I don't think you'd have what it takes to physically beat up anybody. Um, if you want to stomp a mud hole in me, um, then let's do this the right way. Let's, uh, let's call the Tennessee Athletic Commission and let's, let's sanction this. Let's have ourselves a little boxing match. We'll, we'll get a boxing ring and we'll get some gloves. And it'll be you and me, Mr. Floyd. Um, I dare you and I challenge you. You think, you, you think you're going to beat me up? <laughs> I'd like to see you try it. Grow up. Do the right thing. Resign. Get out of office. Go back into the hole that you came out of. And stop trying to... Uh, stop embarrassing humanity. Because that's essentially what you're doing, Mr. Floyd. Thank you everyone for watching.